Today we're going to look at investment appraisal techniques. Businesses, multinational and small businesses alike, quite often have a wide range of future opportunities they can pursue, but they can't pursue each and every one of those opportunities. So they've got to somehow decide which they're going to uh, follow, or which they're going to choose. And this is where investment appraisal comes into play. Uh, we're going to, going to look at three techniques, the first of which is applicable to standard level, the next two aren't. Uh, so payback method, that is just looking at which uh, option pays back the quickest in terms of days, months or years. And this is very applicable to companies or maybe uh, cash up companies who may have working capital problems. The big issue with this method is that it ignores profitability. Hence why we'll look at two other methods after payback. So in this example, the business has to choose between blueberry ice cream and blueberry cheesecake. That obviously is cheesecake. Okay. The initial cost is 100,000 for blueberry ice cream and then you get the returns per year. Sometimes the uh, examiner adds something called scrap value. This is just like the uh, value of the uh, equipment or machines at the end of, of the period. All right, because instead of throwing it away and getting nothing, um, the business may sell the equipment to someone and at least you're getting some money. You might think of it a little bit like, say, an iPhone. You have the iPhone for two years, instead of throwing it away at the end of two years, maybe you send, sell it for $100. $100 is better than nothing. Okay, so the payback, how long until initial costs are covered? Now we can tell very, very quickly that for blueberry ice cream, the answer will be two years. The returns in year one and two, if you add them together, add up to 100,000. So it takes two years for a blueberry ice cream. But for blueberry cheesecake, if you add together 50 and 60, you get 110. If you add together 50, 60 and 70, you get 180. And add together 50, 60, 70 and 80,000, you get 260,000. So no, we know the answer will be between three and four years. So how do we calculate an answer in between years? All right. What we do is we take the amount needed to reach the payback. So after three years, the total returns were 180,000. The initial cost was 200,000. So the amount needed to reach payback is 20,000. The amount payback in the fourth year is 80,000. So 20,000 divided by 80,000 times 12, four months uh, of the year gives us three months, so the answer would be three years, three months. So in this example, we would choose uh, blueberry ice cream. Now, if we then wanted to calculate profitability, what we would look at is something called the average rate of return. And taking the same numbers we've had before, what we basically do is we add together all the returns. All the returns add up to 260,000 for blueberry ice cream. The initial cost is 100,000. So that means the profit is 160,000. So the profit per year, as this is over a five year period, is 32,000. 32,000 uh, as a percentage of the initial 100,000 is 32%. For blueberry ice cream, if we add together all of these numbers, okay, we should get uh, something like uh, 380,000. Okay, if we take away 200,000, we get uh, 180,000. Divide that by 5, we get 36,000. 36,000 divided by 200,000 gives us a return of 18%. And a moment ago, I added up all these numbers very quickly in my head, hence why I stuttered a little bit. Okay, so in this instance, again, we would choose blueberry ice cream. But money loses value over time because of inflation. Uh, so $100,000 today is not going to be $100,000 in five years because the price of things will have gone up. So you, you're able to buy less. So money loses value over time. Or quite often to expand, businesses borrow and there's a cost attached to borrowing called interest. All right, so the next method takes that into consideration and that's net present value. Okay, so I've assumed a uh, net present value, say, of 4%, 4% inflation, 4% interest. Um, the problem with payback, the average rate of return, and the net present value is looking into the future. Okay? And this is a little bit like when you do decision trees, 
Um, you're guessing what is going to happen in the future. Obviously, businesses use computers, they use highly, uh, highly paid uh, executives to make the right decision, but nevertheless, there's lots and lots of variables to do with competitors or to do with the economy. It's very, very difficult to estimate or guess what is going to happen in five years. Okay? So all this is, it is a guesstimate as to what's going to happen to the level of returns, what's going to happen to, say, the average rate of inflation over a period of time. So it could be wrong. Okay? But I've used this 4% discount factor. You'll be given this in the exam, so you don't have to memorize it. Um, so essentially what it's saying is that after one year, 50,000 uh, returns, really, that's 48,000. Okay? After five years, 50,000, that's really 41,000. So obviously money you spend today, there is no discount factor. So 100,000 spent today times one equals minus 100,000. All right, and then the returns, we do the simple calculations, as you can see here, 50,000 times 0.9615. All right, that gives you 48,075. We add these together, all right, and we take it away from 100,000, and that will tell us that the real return on the investment would be 130,809. Uh, this is a better question. You probably don't spend that much time in class uh, actually doing. You may spend two or three periods. Um, but it's the type of question if you understand it fully in the final exam. So if this turns up, you get four marks, six marks, very, very quickly. So do make sure you understand this.